Peanut butter, peanut butter. Good morning, please excuse the state of me, um, but I just wanted to quickly chat because it, today is not a normal day for us. We would normally be going to preschool on a Thursday morning, but um, my I've had really bad knee pain for the last few, well since Christmas, um, but the last few days it's been unbearable. Every time I extend my leg it clicks um, and every time I like pull it back in it crunches and my lower back hurts like something is not right. So um, I've just booked an appointment for, a G for the GP and it's right in the middle of like the preschool pickup. so I've got no one to help me today so I don't think I'm going to take sex into preschool. I think it's more important that I get this sorted so that I can con concentrate on being a better mum. But I've got my porridge, apple, oats, water, soy milk and flax. I'm going to eat this because it's gone a bit cold. managed to book an appointment with my GP it's a sit and wait one at 11:30, so that's going to be fun for the vlog <laughs> um, but I've just done loads of laundry and I am going to have a quick shower and then get ready and I'll catch up with you guys then. A really weird day it was storming earlier and now the sun is pouring through. I have showered and <clears throat> got a bit more ready and I'm going to go and see my children because this is what happens when you're a stay-at-home mum. You still have to get everything done and this happens. You plonk them in front of the TV. Guys, Ezra, too close. So I don't have to be at the doctor for about an hour so I'm going to have round two of breakfast, a croissant and some more coffee and then we will get going. I wake up feeling really discouraged about my knee because um, this has been like, for a week it's been quite unbearable and yesterday I screamed out in pain and that's the first time I've ever done that in the two years that I've had a dodgy knee. So uh, that just made me want to do something about it and doing those exercises earlier has helped me just have a bit more mobility um, and it's not constantly uncomfortable. So I, I know I just need to build up strength in my legs and my abs but how do you do that as a mum? I have no time. I can't go to the gym as a mum of two and it's expensive. I ideally need a personal trainer who comes to my house who will fit in between laundry runs and naps and who will be free. So if you know anyone let me know. Storm Doris is back. This is Storm Doris, guys. Oh no, me orchid. Oh, shut that. Yeah, shut that before the orchids all fly off. <laughs> so, they gone today. No, what's that? Uh oh. Can't go on it. Can't go on it. Oh no. Got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm back from the doctors 
and as I expected, um, I do need some physio in my knee and she's given me a diagnosis, I can talk a bit more about that later. Um, but I'm just cooking us some lunch. I thought we'd do a main meal now um, for lunch because my boys are really fussy eaters. Well, they're not, they're just um, lazy eaters. So they eat by the evening they're far too tired. So um, Saxon at least will eat this better now. And um, I've done some gnocchi, I'll just show you. So I've got some sauce here bubbling away. And in here is onion, garlic, herbs, mushroom, pepper, ch chopped tomatoes, a tiny, tiny bit of sweetener. It's a date syrup, just to sweeten it up. Little bit of veg stock, like half a cube or less. And then this is just some gnocchi. I hope it goes down well. You mamas are fussy eaters, I feel ya. Can you please eat your gnocchi? No! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the mushrooms then. Woo! We're going on a boat. Huh. We're going to catch a big um. one. What a beautiful mm. day! Mm. We look scared. Uh oh. Hello again. After a little rest and Semi nap, donuts. Yeah. I think mean peanuts. The boys watching a little film while I decide what to do. Because of Storm Doris, we've been in a lot, which means this has literally been a stay-at-home mum vlog where I've done laundry and gone to doctor's appointments, and nothing exciting has happened. The kids have watched quite a lot of TV today, which is why I'm like, I want to get out. They're just, my boys just aren't crafters, it's hilarious. I love making things and getting creative and they're just, I've tried, they are just not into it. I think I need to do what Jules Furness has done and tell them that the TV is broken for like a week and see if we can like crack some, crack down on the TV watching but he didn't watch any TV yesterday because he was at preschool and tomorrow he won't either, so. It's just Ezra who's watching quite a lot. Anyway, serious mum and girl over here. Um, let me know if you have issues with the kids watching TV and how you like break the habit. But yeah, we are going to go out. I told the kids we're going on a bear hunt because we've just been watching it and there's a storm outside. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. <gasps> what are you gonna do? Good, there will be. Okay. We might find a bear in a cave. Well, we're actually going to TK Max to buy me a yoga mat. So. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, this has happened. And it's 5.30 in the evening. Proper danger nap. You want to get out? Yeah. Okay. Just went and got him from the car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it? Fax has requested some cheese on toast. Um, he did eat a bit of gnocchi earlier, so that's all right. Um, you're right, darling. You've woken up really well, considering. Yeah. And I'm going to make some trees on toast. Daddy's home! Boys are upstairs, John's putting them to bed, and they're, I've gone and given them cuddles, but Saxon's a bit like, Mommy, cuddles at the moment, so. I think it's going to be a little while of me going up and down. Um, but yeah, we've had a bit of a funny day, lots of big tea vlogging. So sorry about that. 
see you tomorrow.